Reggae Interviews. Word Sound Power. This is DJ745 for Reggae Interviews here. We are here at Easy Sailing 77. I'm celebrating the 77th Earth Strong of Marmarita. I'm here besides Janine. Greetings, it's been a long time. Yes, greetings, greetings. Thanks for having me. Thank you for talking to us because it's always a pleasure. You know, I was thinking earlier, um, it's probably around about 10 years ago when we first actually spoke and then we followed the journey through the new name album and so forth and the steam is a bubble and it's so refreshing to hear the new sound of Open Heart, which was the single that's just been released maybe, what, a couple of months ago? Mm, yeah, a couple of months, almost two months. Two mm-hmm. months, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I, I sort of feel as though musically so much has happened because the last album that you released was just at the start of the world crashing yeah. the pandemic <laughs> and then you've been on a musical journey and also I think a personal journey because mm-hmm. that's the time when I think you were actually over in Tanzania I don't know if it was mm-hmm. planned or unplanned but you ended up being there for quite a long time yeah I just released my uh, last album Note to Self in Ethiopia and I was on a press tour supposed to be heading to the UK and then the drama hit and the UK was hit first and we're like we're not going over there (laughs) and and most of the borders closed so the closest place we could have gone to was Tanzania and they have a Jamaican consulate over there so we went over to Tanzania what should have been 10 days turned into three months turned into three years you know so and it was beautiful it was a beautiful experience of you know shedding enlightenment softening and just you know doing my own shadow work and also it was I was able to do that outside of the whole drama because Tanzania really didn't experience it the same way the rest of the world did Mm. you know so I feel really privileged to have had that opportunity it wasn't planned but definitely was destined Destined. Mm -hmm. what were the key things that you learned about yourself whilst you were in East Africa I what whoa, whoa, that's a interesting question. I think one of the things I learned about myself that I uh, I will share is that I am way more adaptable than I thought I was, and I knew I was adaptable, but I impressed even myself. Just you know, knowing that things have to change you are not going to be able to do what you had planned to do yes you have an album but this is not gonna happen so shift you can't do that now shift and I just learned how flexible and adaptable I was and the process of softening definitely helped me to kind of unfold in that way and so you know learning how to soften in that way that's you know that's the feminine Mm -hmm. and I really got to connect with that part of myself and let that part of myself shine without having to you know have on the sword and shield of Rastafari woman I just got to be Janine there you know yeah Mm -hmm. and I think that's the place where um, you've entered into a new chapter in your life of motherhood absolutely absolutely yeah and softening will bring that So yes, and that's definitely one of another of my life goals that I was able to to accomplish, you know, living in Africa and having a son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we're here today, we're celebrating one of our pioneers, one of our icons, Mama Rita. Um, you have performed four songs today on the virtual live, um, including one of the first songs that I remember hearing from Janine, Steam is a Bubble. Um, and you've also performed three other songs, um, two, of, two other songs which were your own songs and also a tribute as well. Mm-hmm. Talk to our viewers a little bit about the songs and why you chose those songs. So Steam is a Bubble because as much as Steam is a Bubble is a fun song, nice dancing ganja song, it is an important important song about Rastafari and about Africa yes so I wanted to make those points um, Ma'at to each his own because everyone you know loves reggae music and not everyone has the same philosophies and lifestyle and to each his own you know and sometimes the people who you know claim to be the most righteous the rapid long dress wearing you know are some of the worst people and sometimes people who you wouldn't expect you find such beauty in them so it's really about just allowing people to be themselves accepting yourself and accepting others and then of course open heart we have to promote the new song because that is what is going to kind of show people where i'm heading and the next phase of life requires an open heart healing requires an open heart you know and of course the the rita mali song was um 
given to me and I wondered why did they choose this song I've never heard it before nobody I know has ever heard it before but when they started playing it when I learned it I'm like this is a beautiful song and it's so beautiful for my voice too so I'm like somebody chose well <laughs> yeah. someone that's doing the homework in the background somebody fitted it well homework. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, you've worked with producers, including Rory. Um, you've done a lot of work with Clive Hunt. I know that you've collaborated with people like Ayatosh as well. Um, the New Direction, Open Heart. Give our viewers a little bit of an insight into where we're going musically. Oh, stay tuned. Stay tuned, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will say that a lot of the songs are gonna kind of show parts of myself that I have not really shared before, but I think they're necessary because we need to have some different kinds of conversations now um, about you know this male female dynamic and love and the interpersonal and how to talk to each other and how to be soft and have compassion and show forgiveness and you know do the shadow work do the harder things um, but still in a playful way because we have to you know reach beyond just preaching to the choir and start reaching to the hearts of people who may not even listen to Rastafari music, mm. you know? So we're branching out in order to pull our brothers and sisters closer. Close yeah. 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 Now, you were over in the UK a few months ago for the City Splash Festival, mm -hmm. and you put on a great show with some live mixing from another pioneer, the scientist. The scientist. Absolutely. Yeah, that was an amazing opportunity. That connection was an inevitability. His his abilities his his brilliance is part of why i'm even doing reggae music like just being able to sing and and put my poetry to to you know to vocalize my poetry a lot of that happened on his dub mixes because right. you know dub mixes give you the space to do that so being able to make music with him in that way is another side of my creative process that i have longed to share of course i love the live music but mixing on dub is a different experience you know it's a cerebral thing it's a body thing as well and i really really loved that experience and i plan to do more of that and even bring him into the live music space because he's just an incredible engineer like a living freaking Genius, genius. Isn't me <laughs> so that's amazing yeah i think he, he's one of the few people i think that you know now is is saying that he prefers digital than analog mm. what do you say about what do you have to what, what are your feelings or thoughts on that i haven't had that conversation with him i'll ask okay. him yeah so i know a lot of the purists you know they'll say that no no it has to be analog and things and he's actually going as far as actually you know one of the pioneers of analog is actually saying no it has to be digital mm. digital definitely gives you additional capabilities analog definitely has a particular sound but i don't really like the concept of the purist you know right. what i mean uh i find anything that specializes too much tends to be weak and so I like diversity. And so I like that he is so adaptable as well. Things like that keep you young. Being able to, you can't hold on to the past and drag a dead weight into the future. Mm. You have to be adaptable, as I said before. So I really respect him for that. And he's a professional. He is such a gentleman as well. And he definitely is kind of like that father figure as well. And I really appreciate working with him and I'm looking forward to doing more, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, look, Janan, I really give thanks for your time today as we are celebrating the 77th Earth Strong of Marmarita. Um, we're going to look forward to more new music in 2023 and beyond as well. Yes, A message to all the people that have supported Janan over the last 10, 15 years. Mm. Thank you so much for supporting. Keep breathing deeply into your belly. Keep your heart open. Keep your mind light. Don't watch what's going on in the world. You just keep yourself in the right frame of mind whatever you want to manifest you will do so so protect your thoughts yeah yeah man enough respect bless cool, cool. reggae interviews word sound power